Hi, I'm Lorraine Hess, and I want to thank you for joining me to pray the way of the cross. This originally started as um, a gathering in person at the Archdiocese of New Orleans Retreat Center for Holy Week, and um, it was canceled because of COVID-19. So we decided that we would record this in my home, in my music room here in New Orleans. And I think it's an opportunity the Lord has given us during these unprecedented times to reach out to an even larger community to join together with this way of the cross that can be prayed anytime during Holy Week or anytime during the year, actually. So my thanks to the Retreat Center for sponsoring this recording and for their ministry of providing a place of prayer for so many that come for spiritual nourishment and peace in our busy lives. If you're able to help them offset some of the expense of this recording, I invite you to visit their website, which is neworleansretreats.org. Before we begin, I also want to thank my publisher, World Library Publications, which is a division of GIA Publications, for helping me to promote this event and for all that they do to um, support and um, encourage our seeming church. We're going to be praying Mary's Way of the Cross, so the meditations are going to be taken from the perspective of our Blessed Mother. If you want any information about the music that I'm singing during the stations, I invite you to email me at Lorraine at LorraineHess.com. Also, uh, the images that I'm using for this recording of all the stations come from these beautiful mosaics at Divine Mercy Church in Kenner, Louisiana. And those mosaics were refurbished after Hurricane Katrina. Um, they came from a church that had been destroyed. And I thought those would be beautiful images to use at this time. So as we meditate on our Lord's passion, I pray that these images would be reminders of hope during times of despair. So we're going to begin with the Anima Christi. Thank you. 
first station, Jesus is condemned to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son. That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep in my heart and tears down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. All around me they shouted, crucify him. I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew this had to be, so I stood by and cried silently. Lord Jesus, it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation. But what about today when I hold a grudge? Crucify him. When I judge others, crucify him. Doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother? Forgive me, Jesus.
Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For gaining a little strength, I walked with the crowds to the entrance of the square. A door flew open and my son stumbled out, the guards laughing behind him. Two men dragged over a heavy cross and dropped it on his shoulders. Then they showed him down the road. My pain for him was unbearable. I wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on silently. Lord Jesus, I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbor. Forgive me for gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk to me. Help me to be like Mary, always seeking to lighten the crosses of others. Forgive me, Jesus. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of a soul begotten third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I followed close behind my son as he stumbled toward Calvary. Nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall face to the ground, the heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment, I thought my beloved son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again, yet they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on and wept silently. Lord, how often have I seen you fall and unlike Mary, have left you there without concern. How often have I seen people make mistakes and laugh at them? How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I? Mary offered you her support through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support I give others. Lord, have mercy on me. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath behold the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his grieving mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met, mine full of tears and anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, Courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I followed and prayed silently. Lord Jesus, forgive me the many times our eyes met and I turned mine away. Forgive me the times things did not go my way and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me the times I brooded over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Yes, Lord, our eyes have met many times, but fruitlessly. Mm -hmm.
Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I can now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Each step looked as if it would be his last. I felt his every pain in my heart and I wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. The guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. He asked the guards why this had to be. I knew, and so followed silently. Lord Jesus, I have many times refused to help you. I have been a selfish person who has often questioned your word. Don't let me remain like Simon, but help me to be like your mother Mary who always silently followed and obeyed. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain in that mother's pain The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As I continued close by Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, took off her veil, and began to wipe my son's sweating, bloody face. The guards immediately pulled her back. Her face seemed to say, why are you doing this to him? I knew. So I walked on in faith, silently. Lord, this woman gave you the best she could. 
On the other hand, I have wanted to take more than I give. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others, but I pass them by. My Savior, never let me ask why again, but help me to give all I have to you. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges red. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again my son fell, and again my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die. I started to move toward him, but the soldiers prevented me. He rose and stumbled ahead slowly. Seeing my son fall, get up again, and continue on was bitter anguish to me. But since I knew this had to be, I walked on silently. Lord of all people, Mary was your most faithful follower, never stopping in spite of all the pain she felt for you. I have many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you. I beg you to have mercy on me. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he set. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I was walking a few steps behind Jesus when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did, and as I walked on, I followed silently. My Savior, many times I have acted like these women, always seeing the faults of others and pitying them. Yet very rarely have I seen my own sinfulness and asked your pardon. Lord, you have taught me through these women. Forgive me, Lord, for my blindness.
the ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This fall of Jesus was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion. The soldiers screamed at him and abused him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My heart pounded as I imagined what they would do to him next. But I knew this had to be, so I climbed the hill silently behind him. My loving Jesus, I know that many times I have offered my hand to help people, but when it became inconvenient or painful to me, I left them, making excuses for myself. Help me, Lord, to be like your mother Mary and never take my supporting hand away from those who need it. station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest, but the guards immediately started to rip his clothes off his blood-stained skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. Yet, since I knew this had to be, I stood by and cried silently. Lord, in my own way, I too have stripped you. I have taken away the good name of another by foolish talk and have stripped people of human dignity by my prejudice. Jesus, there are so many ways I have offended you through the hurt I have caused others. Help me to see you and all people. station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they threw Jesus on the cross, he willingly allowed himself to be nailed. As they punctured his hands and his feet, I felt the pain in my heart. Then they lifted up the cross. There he was, my son, whom I loved so much, being scourged as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew this had to be, so I stood by and prayed silently. Lord, what pain you endured for me and what pain your mother went through, seeing her only son die for love of me. Yet both you and she are ready to forgive me. As soon as I repent of my sin, help me, Lord, to turn away from my sinfulness. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes? I, who had brought this Savior into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it. So I stood by, and I mourned silently. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and to others. I thank you for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. 
Let me always be your friend. Teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The crowd had gone. The noise had stopped. I stood quietly with one of Jesus' friends and looked up at the dead body of our Savior, my son. Then two men took the body from the cross and placed it in my arms. A deep sorrow engulfed my being, Yet I also felt deep joy. Life had ended cruelly for my son, but it had also brought life to all of us. I knew this had to be, and I prayed silently. Lord, your passion has ended, yet it still goes on whenever I choose sin over you. I have done my part in your crucifixion, and now, my Savior, I beg your forgiveness with all my heart. Help me to live a life worthy of you and your mother. Fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We brought Jesus' body to the tomb, and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son and then walked out. They closed the tomb, and before I left, I thought, I knew this had to be. It had to be for you. I would wait in faith silently. Yes, Lord, this had to be because you love me and for no other reason. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy. I am willing to leave sin behind and live for you alone. And my brothers and sisters.
15th station is Jesus is risen from the dead. And I'm not going to read from the book on this one, but I am going to share personal reflection, if you will. At the date of this recording, all of our churches are closed because of COVID-19. And I think in a way we're all learning to appreciate um, the 
gift that it is to celebrate Mass on the weekends and to be a community. And my dream is that as we, um, as we anticipate that day when our church doors will open, that there will be somewhat of a resurrection of the way that we worship, that there will be a resurrection, a resurrection in, a, in an appreciation for um, the gift of Christ in the Eucharist, that we won't see Mass as an obligation but as a response to faith, and then as a response to that faith, we don't sing because we have to. We sing because we can't help but sing. And so I wrote this song called Mary's Easter Morning. And it's um, just the idea of what it might have been like for Mary to see Jesus for the first time. And as we anticipate the doors of our churches opening, can we anticipate a resurrected church? Can we anticipate participating congregation. And I look forward to that day. As a survivor of Hurricane Katrina, I can tell you the churches were packed. It's because people were responding to faith. And so I hope that uh, this way of the cross helps you make this the best Lent ever um, so that we can celebrate Easter. <laughs> with me and uh, may God bless us all with good health, strong faith, a peace in the risen Christ.